Hey you guys, what's up? So um, today I'm going to talk about something very, very, it's kind of sensitive to me. Um, it's about my weight. Um, something that's sensitive to a lot of women and um, especially for girls who used to be skinny and um, aren't as skinny as they used to be. Um, and I realize I am not a big person, um, so to speak, which is why I really want to talk about this um, because it's kind of more of a conversation to me. And I did post something about this on Instagram. Uh, I posted a picture of myself in a size small uh, Fashion Nova dress that I got for my birthday. Love it, by the way. Um, and uh, I'm, I was looking at myself and I don't look half bad. Um, but yet I am stepping on the scale and realizing that uh, I weigh the most that I've ever weighed in my entire life. Um, which is 143 pounds. I am 5'4", so that puts me at a BMI of 24.9, which is pretty much almost overweight. I believe overweight's considered to be uh, 25, a BMI of 25. But yet, I still am able to fit into a size small Fashion Nova dress. I do have like a little pudge, like, I don't know, like, yeah, like this is like, way this is the most like stuff I've had on my stomach um and so it was really overwhelming for me because when I think about it I probably grew up pretty malnourished um and, and just really really skinny when I was younger I didn't push past 100 pounds until I joined the military um and started eating more <laughs> and, and and um and really exercising um but you know, there's there's just so many ways to measure your your fitness, and they're constantly being pushed at women. Um, if it's not the scale, then they say BMI is a more accurate way to go. But then we're coming out like, okay, BMI isn't necessarily the best way either, um, because as you can see, like the BMI says that I am overweight. But I am not overweight. Like, just from looking at me, I can... And, and sometimes it does take a while for me to get in that frame of mind because I look at the BMI number and I'm like, oh my God, I'm overweight. There's something wrong with me. Um, but honestly, it's I'm really not that bad. Um, and if you think that I'm overweight, then feel free to say so in the comments. Like, I really don't care because I don't think I'm going to believe you. Um, but, but so why am I making this video? Um, basically, um, there is, there are very few ways to tell if a person is truly healthy, um, by just looking at them, by external values, by your BMI, by your weight. And then, you know, actually BMI varies, like the median number varies based on what race you are. Um, so if you're Caucasian, you're more, you're more likely to be, to have a lower, uh, norm BMI. And, and if you're say African American or Pacific Islander, you're more, um, likely to have a higher BMI be the norm and be completely healthy. Um, so do I want to lose weight? Yes, just a little. I would more, I probably would say more, I want to tone myself up. Um, and I want to get stronger. And so I'm trying to make that my goal instead of just losing weight. Um, I did just get my butt and thighs in. And I've been waiting for that for a long time. So I want to keep that. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so I'm making my fitness goals more about my strength. What I can physically do. Can I do 10 pull-ups? I would like to be able to do 10 pull-ups. Um, can I run a six-minute mile? I would love to be able to run a six-minute mile. Uh, can I go across the monkey bars a few times? Like functional fitness like that. Uh, so yeah, the, so yeah, don't look at the BMI. Don't pay attention to my puppy that's yelling at me right now. Um, just make sure that you're eating right. Make sure that you're exercising regularly. And the rest will take care of itself. Don't rely on the scale and BMI. There lies. Pretty much. Shut up, Jack. That's it. Bye. <laughs>